Hey everyone, Todd from Sideshow FX once again, and in this video I'm going to go through the installation process of our new Lightroom Classic Pro Pack for the new Stream Deck Plus device. Now as always, you will have a PDF installation and guide included in your pack. It's always best to follow the installation procedure in that PDF as it will have the most up-to-date and current information than this video. But certainly use this video as a supplemental guide to the PDF should you need it. So once you've downloaded the pack, we're going to open it up. And inside you'll see the PDF I was referring to. And you have an icons folder and the profiles. We're going to open up the profiles here. There's a Mac and Windows uh, folder. Now I'm demonstrating this today on a Windows system. The principles are all the same. If you're on Windows or a Mac, it doesn't matter. The only difference is between the two is there are a few more commands included in the profile in the Windows system because Lightroom on Windows allows us to provide more shortcuts than on the Mac system. Other than that, everything is identical. So since I'm on the Windows system, I will go to the Windows folder here and you will see that we've got eight profiles here and we're going to install each of these separately. The way the, uh, our packs work with the Stream Deck Plus is we provide a series of independent profiles and then we link them all together. So in this case, it doesn't matter which one we uh, install first. You can just start at the top and go down. And how we do that is make sure that you got your Stream Deck uh, software loaded and up and running. And if you have more than one device like I do, just make sure that you are on the Stream Deck Plus device selected up here instead of uh, one of your other devices. So we've got the Plus device here. We're ready to go. We're just going to double click each one of these one by one and they will load into Stream Deck. And there, once you've double clicked all eight of them, you have them now loaded in. You can double check, make sure you did get all eight. We're just going to the preferences here in Stream Deck and load to the bottom. And you'll see that we have all eight here. Now you see it has selected the Lightroom application to be the focus for each one of these profiles. And of course you see this warning message indicating that you, you really shouldn't be using it for multiple profiles. So what we're going to do is just deselect de it for everything but the main profile. So I'm just selecting none on these. The main, I'm going to leave it here for the main because we do want the main profile to show up whenever we switch to Lightroom Classic. So I'll skip over that and we'll just enter in none for the rest of them. And when we do and we go back to main, you'll see that warning message has now been removed. And whenever we launch Lightroom, switch to Lightroom, our main profile will be the one that gets loaded. Okay, we can shut down the preferences. Let's open up our main. As you can see, these are multi-actions. So if I double click each one of these, it, it has uh, each of them have two actions in them. The first action uh, is, a, is a switch profile action. And then the second is a hotkey function that is going to open up the appropriate room in Lightroom Classic. So in the case of this one, what we want to do is switch the profile that when we click this button, our library button, we want the library profile to load up on our device. So we switch over to profile and we will select the Lightroom library profile that we just loaded. So that when we're in Lightroom and we press this button on our device, it will do two things. It will load the library profile onto our device and it will switch to the library room in Lightroom. I'll just quickly demonstrate that. We'll open up Lightroom here. I'm in library right now. I'm going to switch to uh, develop just quickly. Now I go to the device. I click on library and we have the library profile loaded on our stream deck and we have entered into the library room in Lightroom. All right, so let's go back to the, the software and we're going to continue changing those switch profiles for each of these. Now, while I'm here, I'm going to also demonstrate this. Because we're in the library profile, we had switched to it, I'm going to click on this button. This is designed to take us back to where we just were, which was the main. 
So if we click on it, go down here to profile, we are going to switch this to our Lightroom main profile. Okay, now when we go to the device, that takes us back to the main profile. All right, so this one is complete. We're going to do the same thing for the rest of these multi-actions. Double click, click the switch profile. This is our develop. We'll go and select develop. Go back, double click. This is map. Double click. This is book. Double click. This is switch slideshow. Double click. Print. And the last one is web. Now we have all those keys assigned correctly. We can go into each one of them and change the main key. Go to develop. And these keys will always be main. And there you go, we've completed that whole setup. Everything's all linked to each other and you're all set to go. I encourage you to take a look at our navigation video. It will go over in detail where everything is among all these profiles, how to access the certain dial functions and how they work. So that link is below. I do hope this helps you in your Lightroom sessions. Until next time, we'll talk soon.